Hello everyone, for today's video I have a full Super Saiyan 4 themed moveset. Now this is a moveset that has been suggested in the past, but I was going to do this anyway so I'm not going to show a comment so I'm sorry guys, but if you do have any moveset theme suggestions feel free to leave them in the comments and the most liked and interesting moveset suggestions will be used for future videos. And of course please leave a like on these videos if you enjoy them. So let's get into the moveset. Firstly you should notice that I don't have Big Bang Kamehameha. Now as of me recording this video it's like the 30th of November and apparently the only way you can get Big Bang Kamehameha is through the TP Metal Store which opens from Friday to Sunday. But with that being said I have never seen Big Bang Kamehameha in the store to buy. I've heard rumours that if you set your console or your PC time to December 4th 2016 then it will apparently become available to purchase. If I'm being completely honest I don't like doing things like that I'd rather just wait and then unlock it naturally but it doesn't really matter that much because because as you can see I've got times 10 Kamehameha and to an extent times 10 Kamehameha and the Big Bang Kamehameha are kind of the same attack in the sense that they are beam attacks and that you can use Super Saiyan to warp with them so personally I prefer to have just one of these attacks and have a strike super and maybe a few utility attacks so for my strike attack I went for Super Dragon Fist and technically I know it's not really an attack by Super Saiyan 4 Goku but I do believe that Super Dragon Fist is a Super Saiyan 4 Goku Goku attack and I think it was given to him in Budokai 3. I'm not entirely sure so feel free to fact check me there guys. I picked after image strike and bluff Kamehameha because that's what Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta used on Amiga Shenron in Dragon Ball GT. Vanisher Guard as my evasive because that's the only Super Saiyan 4 exclusive evasive that's in the game. And finally I have times 100 Big Bang Kamehameha and Final Shine Attack as my two ultimates because much like Vanisher Guard these are the only two exclusive Super Saiyan 4 ultimates with the attacks that are in the game. So I don't really have a choice there. So I think this is a fairly decent move set. It has a lot of coverage, but I would personally change after image strike for just the regular after image, maybe super after image as well, and maybe replace final shine attack with super key explosion just so you've got more coverage. So going into the first fight, I noticed this guy has final flash and times 20 KL Ken Kamehameha. It's not really that dangerous because the KL Ken attack that he has it doesn't hit all the time and Final Flash is just too slow. So I should be good. So almost right off the bat, I noticed that this guy is a Panic Vanisher. Panic Vanishing is a term I came up with which just means that you vanish when you don't need to. So I'm just standing still here because I heard him say something on mic but I wasn't sure what he said. I'll play back again what this guy said so you guys can listen to him. <laughs> Man, this guy's good, but guess what? I want to kick the car. I just thought that was pretty funny. So here I go for the Super Dragon Fist and send him flying down. And now he's going to transform into Super Saiyan 3. So I dash into him with the homing dash to break his guard. And now I can just do whatever I want to him. It's a shame I didn't have enough key to use the times 100 beat Bang Kamehameha there. Because that would have done a ton of damage. So here I go for the very disrespectful fully charged times 10 Kamehameha. So at this point I don't need to pursue him. I think he realised that. So then he dashes into me and tries to hit me with the stamina break. Probably thinking that it could break my guard, but of course he can't. And now he tried to hit me with the times 20 Kaoken Kamehameha, but I simply blocked it and that cancelled it out completely. If I was this guy at this point, I will just go back to my base form because your key recovery now is going to be terrible. And of course, he just wasted 5 bars of key trying to hit me with the Kaoken times 20. So now I break his guard and send him flying down, then I finish him off with a final shine attack. Like I previously said, after that failed Kaoken, he really should have gone back to his base form so he would have fast key recovery. Going into the next fight, the guy also picks his avatar and I pick the same map. This guy is interesting because he vanished to continue his combo when he really didn't need to. If you saw right at the beginning, he vanished when I was just blocking. And then here I'm noticing that he vanishes whenever I vanish. So it's like, well that's an easy way to drain his stamina. Plus I just got a perfect block which drained one bar of his stamina. We've only 20 seconds into the fight and I've completely drained his stamina bar. So now he turns Super Saiyan 2 and that's going to give me plenty of time to dash into him and to break his guard. So here I'm not doing anything too fancy. I'm just using the basic light combo. But I do use a bit of stamina to continue it which I probably shouldn't have done. So here I could tell the guy was getting very desperate because out of nowhere he goes for the times 4 Kaoken Kamehameha and he even boosts it up immediately 
immediately, which you shouldn't do as soon as you use it. With the KL Kenton times 4 Kamehameha, you shouldn't boost it up immediately because it does actually hit for a while. With that attack specifically, you need to be extremely careful when you use it because if you do indeed boost it up, regardless if the second burst actually hits or not, you're going to be left in the recovery animation for a few seconds. Much like the previous fight, I now have the high ground, so I'm just waiting to see what he's going to do. He goes for another times 4 KL Ken Kamehameha. I used the homing dash and now he has basically no health. I did try to finish him off there with a basic rush key blast, but nothing. He missed. And now I'm acting a bit cocky because there's no way he can win now. So there, I went for the vanishing card and then for after image strike. And now he gets me the light combo and there's no reason for me to vanish here. So I'll just let him do it for a little bit. Then I did dash up to him, but that misses completely. So I'll try it again and he cancels there by hitting me. He gets me in a small combo. I decide not to vanish when I have enough stamina to vanish because like, the combo is about to be over anyway. So there's no real point there. He sends me flying, I'm just blocking, then he gets me another combo, then I vanish, then hit him a few times, and that's going to be game. As we go into the next fight, my opponent has Serious Bomb and Death Ball as his two ultimates. In my opinion, it's very pointless having both of these as your ultimates because you can only hit with them realistically if you break your opponent's stamina. I mean, I don't know, that's just me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. He went for the charge here, which was a very big mistake, so I dash off to him. And I decide to hit him with the Super Dragon Fist because I can. And then I go for the throw and then I hit him with the basic Rush Volley. I dash up to him and I'm expecting him to vanish. He does, so then I anticipate that. And now I'm just waiting for an opening because I have max stamina and he has pretty much none. He hits me away, then goes for the Death Ball. And my instinct here was to go for the Homing Dash, so that's what I do. And I was expecting that to break his guard, but I'm glad he didn't because that means that he would have been able to get a full bar of stamina back. And it's always best to try and keep your opponent at very low stamina. I don't know what I'm doing now i think it was like glitch that turned you around randomly but yeah it's always best to keep your opponent at very low stamina so they have no stamina to vanish with i go for the after image stroke and of course it puts me in a position where i can't see what's going on so i tried to dash away but he just gets me in a combo knocks me down and he went for the death ball again and it doesn't necessarily work out for him there either so i vanished when he sent me away because then of course i would be able to see what the hell was going on and now he vanishes very late and i get a perfect block of there then I send him down and I finish him off with the brutal times 100 big bang Kamehameha. So thank you guys ever so much for watching so far. There is one fight left and you'll see very early on why this is a blooper. So with that being said, thank you for watching so far guys and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs>
Mm-hmm.